because I wanted to use it on my legs and arms after a spa shower, I call them. You know what I mean. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm getting excited. I hope you're getting excited for the next FabFitFun sale. This time it feels like it's been a while. Usually the next sale feels like it's here before I know it. This time feels like it's been a while and I'm really, really excited. I hope you are too. I have put together several products here to talk to you guys about and maybe they will show up in the sale this time. So I will start off with this one. This one's really interesting and I could almost dedicate a whole video to this one just because I have a lot of thoughts about it and I might later. This is the Urban Skin RX Combination Skin Cleansing Bar. It looks like this. It comes with these two little pads. These are like sponges. And then inside, it looks like this. It looks like rosin. Basically, it's soap. And you wet it, and you wet one of these, and you rub it around, and you get it all lathery and foamy, and then you rub it around on your skin. And you can even leave it on for a few minutes as a mask. Yeah, you can leave it on your skin for up to three minutes to use as a mask. It has a really subtle scent. This product, I purchased it because it had really, really good reviews. I knew nothing about it, I had never heard of it, and I just tossed it in my cart. I think it was like $7, $9 or something. So I tossed it in my cart just because it had such amazing reviews. The first thing I wanna mention is that we all know how yucky and bacteria and germ-ridden sponges can become, and you're supposed to use these to wash your face daily. I am very skeptical of using something like this to wash my face daily with. I'm much less skeptical like using a scrub brush, a brush on my body, but when it comes to using stuff like this on my face, I'm a little bit more skeptical as far as the bacteria buildup. And then the second thing is that this is mildly abrasive. So while it feels good while you're using it, it acts like a physical exfoliant. And I don't exfoliate daily, so if you're using this as a cleanser daily, you're using a physical exfoliant daily. I I like to use a physical exfoliant like once a week and then maybe a chemical exfoliant once a week So that's a couple times a week that I'm exfoliating and I feel like that's plenty for my skin That's another reason that I'm a little bit skeptical about this I'm going to use this a few more times and I will do an update for you I have used it twice and I started using this and I've used it twice because I finished up this This came in the winter box the Tula um, facial cleanser, purifying facial cleanser, and this line of products, a doctor came up with this, and she started putting the probiotics into skincare because she noticed that when patients were taking oral probiotics, their skin started to clear up, so she thought, what the heck, let's try it topically. I don't know that probiotics are necessary in skincare for me. I didn't notice anything crazy amazing after using this. It's a gel cleanser. It was the first time I've ever used a gel consistency in a cleanser. I liked the way it applied. I liked the way it lathered. If you're interested in ingredients, this does have a peg in it. Yes, it does have two pegs in it. And then it has a couple of ingredients that if you have super sensitive skin, I can see right now you might want to to be a little bit more cautious of if you were to purchase this product. Other than that, I thought that this was a decent cleanser. I am not highly recommending it. I am not dying to ever use it again. I will not be purchasing it if it shows up in a future sale. This one I gave a first impression of. Now this is the Namaste Turmeric Herbal Anti-Aging Moisturizer. This was in last call and it was $5, so I threw it in my cart. And my first impression of this is that it didn't feel moisturizing enough, but the funny thing is, after I, I reminded myself that this is for normal to dry skin, but I still feel like this doesn't feel moisturizing enough for my dry skin. I need to pair it with an oil, a facial oil. But other than that, it's quite nice. It's hardly scented at all. It smells a little bit to me like if you ever use the nasal spray for your allergies, there's a certain scent to those, the ones you get at Costco. <laughs> it smells a little bit like that. It's it's barely there. It's, it's barely scented at all, and it's a pleasant scent. I can't think of anything else that I think it smells like. This is by Cal Pharma, and Cal Pharma also has the SPF RX line of products. They, some of their things were available in the last sale. I used this for the first time. This is the No BS Vitamin C, and pomegranate hyaluronic green tea. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, vitamin C and E. Pom 
pomegranate, hyaluronic, and green tea. Hyaluronic acid and green tea. This, I tried it for the first time this morning, so this is very much a first impression. This, I want to see if I can show you. This has the consistency of mucus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like slime. Which isn't terrible. I just thought that that was kind of interesting. And it smells very much like most vitamin C serums. To me, it has like a slight medicinal scent to it, which is fine. I just used this for the first time because I used at my May Love Glow Maker, my antioxidant serum from them. This is also a vitamin C and E ferulic and sodium hyaluronic. Um, so it is a very similar serum to be used in the morning. If I had to pick already based on a first impression from this, I picked this hand, hands down. This has a runny, liquidy consistency. It was very pleasant to use. I loved using it every morning. I had purchased a second one when I saw it was in a sale again, so I threw another one in my cart because I loved it so much. Also, if you get this one and you fall in love with it, it retails for $30, like $28.95, something like that. May Love was founded by three MIT graduates, and it's a company that's based out of San Francisco, so I really, I think that this is just a sweet little company. The next Next thing is this Wish Powerfully Effective Naturals Coconut and Ver Coconut Milk and Verbena Exfoliating Foot Mask. So I gave a first impression on this, and in that video, my first impression wasn't a very good one. And then in the video, I actually was discovering how amazing that this this product was, as far as the ingredients and the practices. It's Leaping Bunny certified, even, which is a cruelty-free international certification. So in, the company doesn't just say that they're cruelty-free and they don't test on animals, they actually go through a certification process and they use the specific Leaping Bunny logo for being certified through Cruelty Free International. I don't know if you've ever noticed that there are different pictures of bunnies on certain products. This is the Cruelty Free International one. Let me see if I can get that to focus. That's the Cruelty Free International certif the, the certification bunny. There are just some amazing things about this. It's free of paraben sulfates, phthalates, DEA and TEA free, and pet chemical free. That's amazing. This product, however, not so into it. It's very runny, weird runny consistency. It's almost, I don't know if I can even show it to you. It's like, huh, the only thing I can think of is lubricant. It's like lubricant. I'm gonna stop that there. And then when I wake up, I don't, it says intense hydration, smooths and softens. I don't, I don't, I think so. Not for me. And it's supposed to be like a foot mask. Another product from Wish that I really, really do like though is their almond lip scrub. I love this. I love this lip scrub. I have talked about it once before when I talked about how I loved to use it with this Joay Essential Lip Enhancer. So it, my lips feel amazing in the morning when I use this at night and then I put this on and I sleep in it. Oh, it smells like cake batter, I wanna eat it. So I love this, I love this, love this, love this. And then if this Joay Lip Enhancer, lip Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment shows up in a sale again, I would, I'm gonna throw another one into my cart so that I have a backup. And that brings me to the Kopari Lip Glossy. I got this one as my backup to the Joay for when the Joay runs out, that terrible, terrible day that that runs out. And I like this. The difference is, I don't like it as much. The difference is that this is runnier and it is a little sweeter scented and and it doesn't feel quite as moisturizing. This is good though. I will still use it and I will still enjoy it. I just definitely prefer the Jouer. So if that ever becomes a choice for you, I would go with the Jouer. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this. Living Proof Anti-Frizz Nourishing Styling Cream. I've mentioned a few times recently that I had learned that Living Proof had been purchased by Unilever and that I was very sad because I thought I had discovered a new semi-affordable, cruelty-free hair care line that worked well for my hair. I owe an apology because they sold to Unilever back in 2016. I thought that that was news. That's old news. I didn't know that. When I first looked up Living Proof, I didn't research enough. I am sorry if you have been purchasing Living Proof because you thought that it was cruelty-free because of me. They have been owned by Unilever since 2016. I am terribly sorry. It is hard doing this cruelty-free thing. I have said that multiple times as well. And I am sorry. I'm so sorry. That aside, I have used this three times. 
and the first time I really really liked it. I don't like it anymore. I have an important important update. So the second and third time I used this, I noticed that when I would run it through my hair, a film would get onto my fingers and when I went like this, it would ball up and I took a picture. I'm going to insert it here for you to see. And then after that, I had my hair all dry. It my hair dries beautifully with this in it despite the residue. My hair dries beautifully and it looks really lovely with this product. But I was in my husband's truck and I moved my hair around and it happened to be one of those moments where the light came into the truck perfectly and caught all of this dust that came off of my hair. That was not an awful thing. He just was, he started waving his hand around and I'm like, what are you doing? And he said, that all just came off of your hair. So he said, try not to fling your hair around in the truck right now, okay? There's definitely a residue to this product. If you don't care about the cruelty free Unilever thing and you don't care so much about residue, this is excellent. Excellent, excellent. For those two reasons, it's not a styling cream that I will pursue trying to get more of. Speaking of hair stuff, let's do some more hair stuff. I have a lot of stuff here, you guys. I'm just going to keep going until it feels right to stop. That's kind of how I usually do these videos. So, which one am I going to talk about now? This is the r Co. Freeway Styling Gel. This is a spray styling gel. And I was really nervous to get this because I usually have a lot of difficulty with feeling suffocated with spray products that are like aerosol that keep spraying. But miraculously, and somehow, this doesn't suffocate me. I don't even notice it at all. It sprays on really lightly. It's not sticky. My thousand subscriber giveaway video, which is still open, you should check it out if you want to enter or if you simply want to see what my hair looks like when I use this product. I had used this product right before, like two days before filming that video. That was like second day curls. So go check out that video and then come on back. That's how my hair looks when I use this product and it dries. This I bought because somebody posted a picture of their hair after using it on the forum and their hair looked so good. I was completely overlooking this because of the issue with it being a spray that I was worried about suffocating me. Uh, this will last me a while, otherwise I would want to get more of this, but this I've only used it three times or so. If your hair is anything like mine, which is very poofy, very curly, and you don't like having the wild woman look, which is the look you would see in my giveaway video, even maybe sometimes poofier, I used it this time. My hair just needs to be in a bun right now. I need to wash it. But I used it this time around and it got really poofy this time, but my hair is really poofy. You've seen it. If you've been watching me, you've seen my hair. I recommend this if you have wavy or curly hair. I like it a lot. Now, I haven't talked about this one yet. This is the way, which means yeah, Y-E-A-H, in French. I know we means yes. Some people were correcting me before. I, I'm aware that O-U-I means yes. Way means yeah. It's like their more informal way of saying yeah, like we say yeah. So for me, I used this, and this is like any other leave-in spray conditioner. It's nice. It's a little bit too perfumed for me. Yeah, it's like like perfumed perfumed like 1990s Dior kind of perfume. It's not too much. I'm, I will use it up. It's not I'm not turned off by it, but it has a, an artificial perfumey scent that I'm not so much into. So I'm gonna use this up. I'm not interested in getting any more and I'm not actually very interested in trying any more whey products because of that, which is too bad. I have used a lot of products by lines that can have amazing items, but I used the wrong product first and so I was turned off to that whole line and then ended up missing out and then discovered, oh wait, they have other things that are really awesome. So they could have other things that are really awesome just right now. Based on my impression of this product, I don't feel very interested in trying anything else by them. I wanted to talk about my stinky skincare items. I have some updates here. This is the Midnight in Corsica facial oil. I have been using this for two weeks, waiting for the miracle to happen. People kept saying, you know, you'll get used to the smell, you'll get used to the smell. I'm a little bit more used to the smell. It smells terrible to me. I'm a little bit more used to it. I'm not really excited to try to keep getting used to it. I'm not really interested in having my husband get used to it. I had read a couple of comments that the magic that this performs is that it can help with cystic acne. I don't know if that's true across the board from people who have used it for cystic acne, but I do know that I've seen a couple of comments about that. I did have, and I don't mean to claim that I suffer from cystic acne. 
my brother does and that he truly has it and it's been a struggle since high school but I did have a couple of little cystic pimples right here that started out as like a really angry breakout and then it became a cystic pimple for a couple of months and it just was not going away and it has diminished in size greatly so since I had read that review and I have noticed that it has diminished in size since I've been using this I would say that this did help with that I am going to probably give the rest of this to my brother and have him try it and see how it helps. It's he's he's older now, he's 40, but he still has some issues on his neck. I might give this to him and then I'll let you guys know if it helps as far as that's concerned because I do know that if it works on cystic acne, people would be willing to spend $150 on something to, that would help because I do know that, that that has just been a really tough thing for him to have to deal with. So I will let you know. Now, this is the Terra Mare Niacinamide and Algae Revitalizing night cream. This might be one of the most nourishing night creams I have ever used. It is amazing. This smell, I did put it in my smelly skincare video. This smell, I am used to. I think it smells just fine. The first thing I described it as was kind of like a rotting sandalwood, which I wouldn't say that it smells that way now, but it is a very earthy smell. Natalie, hi Natalie. She told me that she's a subscriber friend. She told me that that's Clary Sage. That's what I'm smelling in here. And I will put a link below in the description box with what Clary Sage is and its healing properties. It helps with all kinds of things. I'll put a link below so you can read a little bit more about it. The consistency of this is like, you know, body butter? It's like a face butter. It is so incredibly nourishing. It feels so good. I love it. I love you. I love using you. So that's my impression on this night cream. Oh my goodness, I have so much I want to tell you guys. I'm so excited for the sale. So I see this available in the sales quite often. This is the Corez Body Butter. I was really in love with this when I was first using it. It has two pegs in it. So if you're interested in that, and then it has a formaldehyde releaser. Anyway, so I just started to notice when I started to learn more and more about ingredients that this didn't have the best ingredients in it. So if you are really interested in on toxic ingredients, this wouldn't be for you. Otherwise, this makes your skin feel real soft. And you put, you need to leave it on and give it a chance to absorb. I know that some people complain like, this stuff never absorbs. It's a body butter. It's a true body butter. This is the mulberry vanilla scent. I really like it. it. Smells more like berries to me than vanilla. I won't repurchase it because I've tried it and it has some of those ingredients that I'm trying to get out of my products. I'm not, I haven't been perfect at all with ingredients either, but I'm more working on it and working on my awareness. So there's this. I won't be getting any more of this. I'm going to talk about this now. <laughs> so this is the acai, uh, acai, acai, however you say it. I say acai. Body Power Cream by Sol de Janeiro. When I first got this, I was pretty disappointed in it. It smells like roses. It smells like roses to me. I've seen some people say that they don't think it smells like roses. I was so surprised to smell rose when I got this because I thought it was going to smell more like a sweet berry something or other, but I mean, because I used acai, nothing in it made me realize that it might smell like flowers. It's a very lightweight body cream. It doesn't feel as moisturizing as I would like it to feel because I wanted to use it on my legs and arms after a spa shower, I call them. You know what I mean? But the thing that I that this has that's kind of cute that I hadn't realized is that it gives you a little bit of a shimmer. Um, oh, so, and then it's pink, so we all know what it takes to get things this color is dye. So if you're not so much into having dyes in your products. Uh, this is probably not gonna show up on camera. Anyway, it has a little bit of a shimmer, very subtle shimmer. Nonetheless, I was still a little bit not thrilled by this body lotion and I definitely won't be repurchasing. Okay, so that's it. I feel like I have gone on and on and on. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Say hello in the comments below. I am so excited for the sale. I hope you are too and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys later, probably when the sale is happening. Mwah. Bye.